Hey guys, this is Gino and Gray. Welcome to GG Rated. This is where we rate tech, gaming, movies, and news with our GG Rating. Today is about the 2022 Game Awards. We're going to talk about our predictions and give you what we think is going to be the game of the year. Let's get it. Guys, we're going to talk about the 2022 Game Awards. Uh, this year, they have some good, they have a pretty good list of Game of the Years. I haven't played many of them except for I'm a huge Elden Ring fan this year. Um, mm-hmm. I played a, a bunch of it. Um, what would be some of your your takes on some of these games this year, Gray? Man, I think that one of the games that I would say is like different and a cool concept is Stray, where you're like a cat going through this... Uh, is it like this um, post-apocalyptic world where there's just like robots and stuff? I've seen a little bit on Stray, and it and it looks cool. It looked like it'd be a fun, like story-driven game with some very different gameplay because you are playing as a cat. A lot of people's enjoyed it. Um, yeah, enjoyed like, that game. I, I do want to try it. I think it would be cool. I don't know if it's like game of the year potential, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, you a, are you a dog or cat person though? I'm definitely a dog person, but there are certain cats that I do like. Cats that are more chill and act like dogs, I think I like. (laughs) I like those cats better. I always find cats to be kind of independent and uh, and uh, always scratches me. But uh, look, I I I I agree. I I agree 100 percent with your take on this. Is it's a cool concept. I would love to just try it out and play it. The only thing that kind of gets me, that kind of bothers me, and I never played it, and I don't know if it's going to be a big deal. I've heard controversy about you can't jump or anything. they got a lot yeah. of spots where you can climb, but you can't jump. You can't jump? You, you can't As jump. a cat? No, that's, weird. that's what I'm yeah. saying. And, and to me, just hearing that kind of bothers me a little bit, but they say it doesn't kind of get in the way of the gameplay too much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna try it out. I do want to get it for, for my Steam Deck. And- Oh, that'd be yeah. awesome. That'd be awesome. Uh, God of War. Um, I, I think this one I'm going to go ahead and throw out there. You see the list, right? Elden Ring has been up there the whole year. And then uh, here yeah. comes God of War, yeah. right? Um, huge ratings. Nothing's bad. I haven't heard anything bad about it. I mean, there's really right. not any bugs or anything, which is it's a unicorn these days. Now, I am like I said, we are a little biased because we played Elden Ring. We have not got our hands on Ragnarok, but I have heard a lot. I've read a lot about it. I played yeah. the first one, the 2018 God of War. Is sure. that's an awesome game. Um, I'm almost through with that one on PC. Yeah. Um, and then you got Horizon Forbidden West. That was it's a popular game because I think Horizon Zero Dawn did so well. Um, it's great story to it. I just don't think it's going to be in the same category. It's going to be Elden Ring or God of War, right? Yeah. I think it's going to be the two between those two. Unless you think there's another one yeah. between those two, who do you think is going to win this thing? So I'd say Elden Ring just because it it kind of got the most traction, probably has the most gameplay out of any game. Um, on this list, I would I would probably bet, you know, if if I could bet, I would say that more hours were put on Elden Ring than anything else. That be because yeah. that that could be because of how it is formatted, you know, to like grind and to level up and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I think that Elden Ring is cool. It really didn't grab me because you know I am not. As far as like hardcore, gonna put a bunch of hours in on a game constantly, like it would take. Well, we just don't really... have the time for it. Yeah, yeah, know? we just don't have the time. We're dads. We have yeah. J- we have jobs, all that good stuff. So, I like a story-driven game that I can kind of like get in and g- get out of. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I I, I think. You, you kind of hit it. You don't have the time. You don't have it. I love the the concept that it did, though, with the open yeah. world, different monsters all the time and stuff. Um, yeah. um, you can join in with your buddies, and you can kind of roll and roam around <clears throat> this huge territory, just different things happening at all times. I yeah. think that's what struck everybody so well. And it was so beautiful of, um, of a world. You know, you got so immersed in this world. And I yeah. really I, I think Elden Ring couldn't have done it any better. Uh, and it was still it's challenging. You know, it wasn't yeah. just running around like they the mechanics, the gameplay mechanics was on point for Elden Ring. If it was my decision yeah. on game of the year, it's going to have to be Elden Ring. Um, yeah, I think a lot of thought was put into that that game, too. There's so much to explore, all these different creatures to defeat. Um, you know, it's it's uh, 
you you do have to grind but like that's that's a part of it that i would ask you about is it like your classic game that you have to grind to level up or is there more to it than that i think it's a little bit more to it as far as i think so uh, too. it's a little it's a little i wouldn't say competitive but um it's it's a little challenging you know that you have to hit these buttons at these certain times or you're going to die and you keep going back and it just hits you like oh i'm going to get through this stage i'm going to get this i'm going to kill this boss and i think the boss is just being huge you got huge dragons and the whole world is just so immersive you want to see what is there what is next and um i think i I think about it Right, I think there's a lot more skill involved because you could be a lower level and still take down like bigger Absolutely. bosses. Absolutely. So, um, in that aspect, I think there's more meat to it and gives it um, kind of a higher position on the game of the year. I think Elden Ring's just held it for so long. It's been such a, a big movement with Elden Ring, new players coming in, myself right. included, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, th- I think they're going to end up taking it. Uh, but I do have to give it out to uh, Santa Monica Studios um, with Sony um with god of war because that game is it's looked tremendous and i i can't wait to play that one as well i really wish they would give these games different categories of yeah. like this is the game of year for this open world thing or this uh you i, I agree with that oh um, yeah i know they have like game direction and narrative and stuff like that but it's kind of the kind of the same but um and, and i see it's it's a lot of them best performance um games for impact and all uh-huh. and i know there's so many categories to try to go over in such a short time but yeah you know do you think these other games even have a chance against god of war or Elden ring uh yeah i do um they're they're all so different i just to be honest i really don't like how this is kind of laid out to where like these are our picks it seems like instead of what's the best game it's maybe like what what uh not is the most popular but what was maybe had the most people talking about it because most people talking about a game doesn't necessarily mean that like it's it's the best game yeah i agree Um, yeah i agree i and but a lot of times that's how it ends up is god of war was so talked about came out the gates with the thor you know streamers hit it really hard you know and they, it gets put up in there, but I feel like there should be like a minimum. I, I think this has been an issue in the past. There should be a minimum, like a uh, release. You know what I'm saying? Like um, a minimum time they should be out. Like you yeah. can't come in within a month or two months of a game being new and say, "Oh, it's game of the year." Game like of the year. If you don't release your game by at least like September or something or August or something like that, right? You shouldn't have to, or, or maybe do voting however many months and tally up those those months i, I mean i'm just kind of thinking of stuff off the top yeah. of my head here like hey i think it does need to change in that elden aspect. ring came out in january and it's got game of the year in january february month or game of the month january yeah. february march april may and then all of a sudden here comes god of war august and september and they only right. got two I, i'm just saying like um you know, but it might it might start turning people some of these companies away and make them release, you know, right. later on or afterwards or something. What do you think? I think if Just you to... look at it like that, then Elden Ring is probably like in the top spot. Well, let's go over to the best art direction. Um, I know that kind of caught our eye a little bit when we was talking about it. Yeah, um, dude, her... this picture, holy crap! Yeah, well, tell me what you what you think. Um, what you think about Horizon on this picture? Yeah, so, dude, as far as art goes, like, the different mechanical beasts and just the way the environment looks, like, holy yeah. crap. So, I played the first one, and uh-huh. I, I, I gotta say, it is one of the most beautiful games. I love it, but I love the story. The story is great. Yeah. Talk, You know, it talks about pretty much, like, the, the end of time, pretty much. You know how I, they have a lot of those games, but it takes a different take where there's corruption on these... Um, these beasts and uh you fight these like um monsters and all but they're like corrupted uh they're like robots kind of in a way um Mm -hmm. but she you know they're not using guns and all that stuff she's got the bow bow and arrow everybody does and they don't want that you know they have their culture and religion that they don't want anything to do with you know the the ai aspect or the technology aspect because that's what doomed 
the human race to begin with, right? Oh, okay. So, but that's the only way to be able to fight back a, a lot of times. And um, Alloy, which is the the female you see there, man, uh -huh. she does such a great job of um, of just immersing you in the story and everything, and what she stands up for and everything. So, I, I have to say, the art direction on this is is outstanding. Um, yeah. It's a beautiful game. So. Yeah, oh. I think it looks really, really cool. I would say artistically. I mean, I've seen, I've played a bit of Elden Ring. I've seen, you know, art from God of War. I think Horizon Forbidden West has, has the coolest art style. Um, Scorn, I really haven't looked into much. I think Stray Isn't that, cool that like, that really disgusting game or whatever Scorn, <laughs> isn't it? I think it's the, it's the game where, like, you're pretty much a breathing weapon. And it's just like you just pull in and you put guns into, like, your arm and stuff. I mean, oh, it's a, dude. Artistic-wise, like, Scorn uh, has that, like, Prometheus slash, like, alien yes. look to it. It's a really cool art style, too. I can see why all these are in the categories because... Yeah. All of them have something really uh, cool. Artistic. Scorn is very to, disturbing. To brain. Oh, so yeah, disturbing. <laughs> I'm just looking at images of it, and it's like, holy crap, yeah. dude! Um, I mean, it's definitely a cool art style. Um, wow. Look yeah, at this some is difference. this is more difficult than I thought it would be as far as looking at art direction. I, I do want to look at one more thing. Uh, I'll look at best ongoing game because. <clears throat> We play Call of Duty a lot as well. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that's not on there, but we played a little bit of Apex, right? Yeah. Um, have you played Destiny 2 back in the day? Did you play any oh, of that? Oh, yeah. I, I played Destiny 2 back in the day, and the thing that was so funny about that is I had the most fun in the Destiny beta. Really? Um, no, wait. I'm think, I think I'm thinking of Destiny 1. So Destiny 2, I played through the beta and like the opening and everything. I really didn't get into the meat of Destiny 2. Well, honestly. I remember Destiny 1, I was really into it. And then when yeah, it went Destiny I 2, too. I kind of fell off a little uh -huh. bit. But um, haven't played Final Fantasy 14 too much. Um, I haven't either. But I heard so many things like it keeps getting revived. And there's, like, there's a huge following there. Fortnite, right. Fortnite, I got into a little bit. And I'm sure you did too. Remember when they got rid yeah. of the um, no build mode? Yeah. No build mode on it. And it was actually pretty pretty fun of a game. Um, I think Fortnite is going to be the best if you want to get like your whole family in on to play something. And it's absolutely. like easily accessible. Absolutely. Um, Fortnite to me is probably the best ongoing game because it's more. I, uh, I have to say Apex, it, dude. I just love Apex, man. Yeah, I, like I, just, I, I think I that Apex it. is great. It's just um, I don't know. Is 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 it? as accessible of a game i agree with you there it's a lot more to learn uh it took me a while to learn uh um, yeah get apex uh I, I don't really see mobile we all know that i'm surprised call of duty mobile isn't on there as well um best action game call of duty Modern warfare 2 did you like the campaign for Modern warfare 2 uh i haven't gotten through all of it yet i gotta say it's not really grabbing me like it, I thought it, it didn't would. I finished it it's just not it's just not a, it's I, I'm not trying to put the words in on it. it it's okay but the first one was so much better man yeah um so another one I'd like to maybe hit on a little bit is most anticipated so the bottom three there Resident Evil 4 Starfield and The Legend of Zelda I think those are huh. are uh, pretty exciting titles I'd say for me the Resident Evil 4 remake, I'm really excited about. I think that's going to be super cool. Out of all of the Resident Evils, I'd say that 4 is my favorite. And that, that might not be the most popular opinion. I do know that people love it, but it is such a cool and interesting game. Um, well, you know, I, the the most popular one, you, let's throw it out there, is going to be the Legend of Zelda game. It's going to be the probably the most popular one. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, mine is actually Starfield. I think um, Starfield is going to be exciting. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I, I love anything space, too, so, yeah. It's like, yeah. But Resident Evil 4, the remake version, mm -hmm. which, I mean, that, yeah. I'm, day one, I'm grabbing that one, uh -huh. day one. I mean, there's no doubt about, all, th really, all of these, I, I'm not a big Harry Potter person for mm -hmm. Hogwarts, you know, but Me I either. think that game's really coming together. I think it's going to be pretty cool little um, aspect to it. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of, 
I'm more of a Final Fantasy VII guy and like the, the OG Final Fantasy games. So these Final Fantasy 16 and forward, it's just it's just not my cup of tea. I don't have the time for yeah. it, honestly. That's What's your favorite. favorite thing about Resident Evil 4? I, th- I like how crazy the story is, how fun each level is. Um, there's something about it that just grabbed me and I was looking forward to each level. Um, yeah. There's something about the way they used to tell stories back then, too, of it's more you actually have levels of like, yep. if you defeat this level, you're going to the next thing. There was exploration involved, but it wasn't like open world to where it was overwhelming. Yeah. It was it was uh, more, to me, it was more driven. palatable. Yeah. Narrative driven um, was easier to digest because there wasn't like so much to do that you didn't want to do any of it. Yeah. I'm like that to where I like that there's levels that I can see an end to it and um it's something that I can experience and like still remember everything that that I did. Like when games get to where they're like twenty plus hours, it's it's like what am I even doing anymore? I know. Because honestly, I think where it comes into play with me at is if you get these games that's twenty plus hours like you're talking about is yeah. you have those days when you, you you're just hopping on and you got your buddies on like you or something and i'm like hey great mm-hmm. let's just grab a game we want to play like maybe some modern warfare or mm-hmm. uh dark tide which we've been getting into a lot recently cool. which uh we have some uh gameplay and video on that if y'all have not tried out that game i i do have to say it's it's an awesome time um yeah um beautiful world too uh well i wouldn't say beautiful right <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but very um, cool very cool. Um, but I think it comes down to uh, time wise, when it just gets to that past that point, it's just like kind of yeah. gets drawn out. And you kind of want to move on and kind of do something else, I think. Just to talk a little bit about Starfield, I know I mentioned earlier, mm-hmm. I love the fact, and I'm so excited about what I imagine is me, you, or some other people would get in there. Yes. We kind of team it. We have our spaceships. We go and we just exp- hey, let's drop down on this planet. Let's go check this out. <clears throat> and yeah. it's like a whole new world, a whole new game every time you go into. It. I think right. they said they're going to have one thousand planets max right now. It's crazy. I like that idea because if you have unlimited, right, right, like outer worlds, I think it is or something. When you have unlimited, it you're going to have a lot of planets that's the same, the same thing, same generated stuff. But if you have a thousand and you say, okay, guys, this is a thousand, you get all your devs to, you know, Hey, you got this planet, you got that planet and you, you can make everything different, you know? And so when we drop in on a new planet, you and me, it's like a whole new experience. And, uh, you know, when it comes to Bethesda, man, I mean, they do a great job of, um, dialogue and storytelling and stuff like that so i'm Mm -hmm. really really excited about just exploring space about it i am too because i love space exploration games i'm a big star citizen guy there was a time where that was the only game i was playing for a while i was i was in an in i was in an org like an organization on there where we would get together and we would practice like military tactics and like, be pretty have, cool have these big battles and stuff it was just it took so much time it's really clunky it's yeah. not easily accessible like you have to really invest in it i'm hoping starfield will be one of those experiences where i can get the same feel of space exploration playing with your buddies and all that but be a thing that i can just jump in and out of that they do not, it right Yes, and like not have to spend hours and hours getting ready just to go do something. I think that Starfield will be a cool experience if they can get those things right and don't make it like really, really clunky to where it takes hours to really get yeah. going and get to play in the game. And, and, and I think I think when you uh, talk about Starfield as well, it's underneath the Xbox umbrella, right? And yeah. when you're talking about Xbox, I think they delayed it, and I think the delay with it kind of worked out. Now, I think it's going to work out where they have that extra time to kind of let it sit mm-hmm. and um, kind of yeah. go through and and kind of maybe help on those thousand planets that they have right. or the bug glitches. Because we all know Bethesda is known for the glitches at the beginning when they release their games. Right. But hopefully that kind of changes it up a little bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll say this. So the most anticipated um, Resident Evil 4, we've got Starfield, Legend of Zelda. You have the other ones that's going to be great games but man my my pick would be starfield yours would be resident evil 4 
Yeah. And then we both would say Legend of Zelda definitely gets honorable mission uh, mention on that um, yeah. in reference to it. Yeah, and and that's one for me that I can wait on because I know Legend of Z- Legend of Zelda games are going to be more timeless to where I th- I think they're always going to be popular and I, I, they're not going to lose value because it's yeah, Nintendo, <laughs> right? I don't think they're going to lose value. I don't think they're going to get to where they don't like they don't age well. I think all yeah. Zelda games pretty much age well because they they have a distinct style and a distinct yeah. story and uh yeah, yeah always I a agree. lot of meat to it there i'm more excited about what's to come at the game awards i know they yeah. announced the series <laughs> x uh the series x is the first time it was announced a system that i now have um okay. was the game awards back in 2019 2020 right. um so I'm honestly excited about to see what PlayStation, Nintendo, Xbox, maybe I, I love hardware, right? But um, they're supposed to be announcing some good stuff or something that's supposed to be a surprise announcement at this Game Awards. That's so what I'm excited I think, about. I think this is a great time for Xbox to announce some like games, uh, some like new IPs or something that are only coming from Xbox because that's one department that they're severely lacking on like having mm-hmm. their own Xbox exclusives that really make waves and uh, make, a, I, I, make a big splash in the gaming pool. Yeah, in a sense. I, I agree. I, it's a long time coming. Everybody keeps saying, oh, they, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. They keep delaying, and I, th- I don't think the pandemic helped out any on their behalf. But yeah. I think this will be a perfect showing. I'm a hardware guy, but I agree with you. I think that, you know, with the Starfield showing more of that, um, maybe showing some Redfall, um, you know, showing these, um, the, the new Fable and stuff. I mean, something they need to kind of start throwing out there, give some dates to and say, hey, these yeah. games are here. We had these games. Banjo Kazooie. There's a new Banjo Kazooie game apparently in the makes. Really? Throw, throw, yeah, throw a trailer with that out. You Show know? something. Yeah. Like yeah. Get, get folks excited yeah. about Xbox IPs again. Yeah, exactly. But I think they're coming back, man. I think they are they got a strong stance coming back. You know, cool. I support them, obviously. Always been a yeah. kind of an Xbox guy. Um, but uh, I, th- I think that's, uh, that's some conversations that we're definitely going to be having, some view- videos we're going to have in the future with that. So, guys, that pretty much wraps up the conversation for today. Great, as always, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Always enjoying my time here on GG Rated. Um, we had a great conversation about the 2022 Game Awards. And if you guys enjoyed this conversation, please like, comment, and subscribe so we can grow the channel. All right, guys. Till next time, we'll see you later. See you later.